Rural hospitals in our area are feeling the strain of the latest coronavirus spikes as well. Chelsea Barton is live in our newsroom with more on how a local rural hospital is holding up. Chelsea. Well, Lynn, Bibb Medical Center, located in Centerville, Alabama, has seen some major changes in COVID-19 numbers as well. When we last checked in with Bibb Medical Center CEO Joseph Marchin a few months ago, he had seen some of the numbers from the early pandemic spikes go back down. We had we had seen some of the early spike go back down, and we were down to probably two to four patients testing positive per day just in our testing centers across our campus. But unfortunately, that's up you know greater than ten to fifteen a day now. So I think we are seeing that spike. Fortunately, that has not translated into a significant increase increase in the medical centers inpatient numbers. You know, today we only had, uh, I think, uh, two, three inpatients that were positive in our building. Um, so, so that's, you know, certainly not the, the highest, you know, that, that we've had from the beginning. But we are still continuing to see a lot of positive, you know, across our outpatient testing, our ER, of course. But most of those right now are currently, you know, quarantining at home. As of now, Bid Medical Center staff numbers are holding strong as well. We uh, have only a few staff members out right now. I think we're down to four employees who are out currently, which is which is you know relatively good when you look at it from the beginning. But again, we're concerned that we could have more employees go out as we see these numbers increase. Martin says it's important, however, to remember how quickly everything can change. Yeah, I think it's concerning if you look at the data, you know, the hospitals in our area, some of our tertiary partners, BCH, uh, some of the guys in Birmingham and, and even in Shelby County, they're really, their ICUs are full. Um, so, so I think the bed availability is already concerning. I think we're not, you know, even in the middle of this next spike. I think we're still early on. And Martin says it's also important to remember that inmates at Bibb Correctional Facility who have tested positive for COVID-19 are also included in the total COVID-19 numbers for the entire county. Reporting live from our newsroom tonight, I'm Chelsea Barton, WVUA 23 News.